I went back and checked the, the Rondash. It wasn't as good as what I had. Oh, that's right, the, the mace was uh, ethereal. No good. Uh, you can give ethereal stuff to your mercenary. Speaking of which, I did change him over to the Jagged Brag to stock of Blight. Uh, even though it does technically less damage, um, it does uh, have a fast attack speed instead of the other one, which was on slow, so hopefully he'll attack a little bit faster now. Um, but of course, he still does more damage than I do, don't, doesn't he? 50 to 92? 12 to 25. It's, yeah. Whatever. Freaking hell is here. Oh, poison mages. Awesome. <coughs> Just what I wanted. Luckily, I'm pretty much immune to poison still. More or less. I got the 75 defense and the 75% the length reduction. I do not care about your poison. Uh, I do love using the, uh, the blessed hammer on these beetles because I can get them all at once and then for some reason it seems that when you get them all at once the the lightning doesn't seem to bother you as much now I, I have no facts to back that up other than what I've seen when I played but that's what I've noticed it doesn't hurt as much ah, dodged uh, if you don't have um, the resist to, to poison that I do uh, I'd recommend bringing an antidote potion along with you uh, I have found sometimes that there are some poisons that you get that just won't go away. And I've almost died a few times to those kinds of things. So, you know, investing in, in an antidote potion to save your life does benefit in the long run. Hopefully I won't die, uh, so I can just tell you guys exactly how uh, dying works in this game. Uh, when you die in this game, you uh, leave your body and all your possessions in it. Um, and you start from scratch with no equipment. Oh, there's a special over here. Creeping feature. He was cold enchanted, apparently. Uh, you start from scratch in town. You don't have anything with you. And you lose some of your gold in normal mode. And uh, Nightmare in Hell, I believe you lose experience and gold when you die. Oh, Vulge. Uh, I don't know if we got over Vulges. They're huge, and they do normal attack speed, but the reason that I like... Can you equip a pylon? I'm not going to risk it. Let's go for the Vulge. 628, not that great. I don't know if Alhazir can equip the pylon, but he couldn't identify it now anyway because it's not identified. Uh, but yeah, in uh, Nightmare in Hell, you lose some gold and some experience. In uh, normal version, you lose some gold, and by some, I mean a percentage of what you have. So it starts to get ridiculous how much you lose. Um, which is why I love farming gold in this game. Because you never know when you're going to lose it because of a lag spike or something like that. And then uh, basically, if you want your stuff back, which I'm assuming you do because it's the best stuff you've come across in the game for your character, you have to go where you died to find your body and pick it all up. And you pick it all up and you equip it immediately. Now, if you're like me, you're automatically thinking, well, if I died, didn't I die to something that's still alive? The answer is <laughs> probably. So, uh, what you normally do, or at least what I've tried to do, if I'm playing by myself, you know, if I'm playing with a friend, it's a lot easier. But if you're playing by yourself, then um, you pretty much buy the best stuff that you can in town, go to where your body is, um, and then try to pick up as much of it as you can, and just run. Don't, don't bother trying to kill everything that's still there. Run, heal, go back to town, do whatever it is you need to do, repair, that kind of stuff. And then try to and do that multiple times, you know, because you're not going to pick up everything you had at, at first. And do that multiple times until you pick up everything that you had left in your body. It's an interesting way to play the game. It's kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say old school. Uh, but, you know, I, I think there were a couple other games that worked very similarly that when you die, you know, your body dies and you have to go recover your dead body to get your stuff back. Listen, Hammer, it wasn't working so well for me there. 
I did not time it right. Um, it's just a regular round dash anyway. How you doing, Alzir? You doing all right? It's just a regular one. Yeah. Forget it then. I swear there were a few other PC RPGs that worked very similarly. Is this gonna be worth it? No. I'm gonna abandon that. But that's how dying works in this game. Hopefully, like I said, I will never have to show it off. Because I hate going to find my dead body. Because, you know, one, I'm already pissed off that I died. Oh, Wells, by the way, do heal your, your mercenary as well. Uh, just, just for the record. And you can use them twice. Um, I don't need to use it, but see, look. Use it once. Use it twice. It, it works, yeah, both times about the same. It doesn't give you a full heal. Like, I think the refilling shrine does. I think the refilling shrine gives you a full heal. But the well gives you partial. And th that's why you can use it twice. Plus, um, if, if you don't need to use it twice, you can use it once, kill some stuff, and come back. It's, I like wells. Wells are nice. Uh, nothing down here, really. Here we go, some more beetles. Just three. Just a waste of mana. L look how long those things go for, those little freaking lightning things. Yes, walk up to it and hit it. That'd be greatly appreciated. Now, where? Ah. About to say, I don't remember there being a way forward. That's because I blatantly missed it because it was right next to the dungeon. Uh, just like uh, in Act 1, there's going to be a little path on the outside in order to take you to the next part of the field. And we've made it to the Dry Hills. Does that sound familiar to you? It should. Because that is where we're going to find the cube. And that's pretty much my destination today. I want that damn cube. And, um... I, I want to show you guys how it works because it's, I think, a great part of this game. How you doing? Oh, uh, yeah, we got the... These freaking people. Uh, I didn't didn't see their names. I, I went too fast. Uh, those guys, um, those cat women, they throw fulminating potions at you. All day, every day. For what reason, I don't really know. They have them. Um, and they throw them at you and they explode with fire damage. Where are you guys? Oh. Spear cats? Yeah, they're spear cats. Why they're called spear cats, I don't know, but uh, sometimes they'll throw exploding potions or, you know, other poison potions. But a lot of times it's going to be those fulminating potions. So just be on the lookout for those. Uh, run up to them if you need to. And these guys. Oh my god, do I hate these guys. These are worse. These undead scavengers. These are worse than the sand leapers. Because while they're in the air like this, I cannot attack them. I have to wait for them to land. And a lot of times, they just don't feel like landing. There's no other way to put it. They're just like, no, I'm good. I'm just going to stay up here forever. They're like cliff racers. Oh, we've got more saber cats. Champions, it looks like. All champions? No, yeah, all champions. Oh, man. <sighs> I do want that Vulge. Alright, it doesn't look like the Vulge was very good. I went back to town and sold it. Uh, I did actually change my weapons on both my characters, though. Uh, I did equip him with the Pylum. Apparently, he can use it, which I I wasn't sure on, because he can only use, you know, pretty much, like, pole arms. Uh, it replenishes quantity, as if I really care, uh, but it, it also does uh, 1 to 5 fire damage and poison damage, and gives him plus 2 attack rating. He probably doesn't need it. And I finally moved up to a Grand Scepter uh, instead of the regular Scepter here. Uh, this is going to give me plus one to concentration, which is what I'm really looking for. Uh, the plus two to cleansing I don't really care about at all. Uh, now, uh, my damage is up by 75% uh, and the radius increases. The chance un un uninterruptible. I don't think ever changes, but I could be wrong. And we are ready to move on. I want that damn cube. I want to show it off. Once again, one of my favorite aspects of the game, along with the skills, actually. Skills and the cube is, is where it's at in this game. Why are you all by yourself? 
shouldn't be out here by yourself. <laughs> There's people with grand scepters out here. Ready to one shot you. So now you see he's doing fire damage and uh, he should be doing poison damage as well. Oh, his ear. Forgot his name. How could I forget his name? I've been saying his name forever. Uh, nothing down here. Oh, just one little piece of gold. Sometimes these little things will have a lot of gold with them. I don't know if you guys noticed that there were stairs over here. You can still see them on the mini map. Uh, those stairs do not lead to the next area, actually. They lead to another part of the Dry Hills, which, if you remember, is where we are. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything else here on the lower level of the Dry Hills. I don't know why they call them the hills. There's really nothing here. But we need to go up the stairs. And, yeah, as you can see, still the Dry Hills. And now we have more of these enemies. And no, not even my blessed hammer can hit them while they're in the air. It's just so aggravating to me. And look, you know, it's not like they get uh, to a certain distance with with you and then they start landing and attacking no they're just whenever f they feel like more or less I'm sure there's some AI script to it but hell if I can figure out what it is I haven't figured out a trick to get them to land or anything see look I run up to them and they they lift off damn you spear cat hawk helm I'll take it let me take a look at that while these things fly around crap oh you landed Die for your landing! You cannot live on the ground, bird. You're on the ground. I didn't see it. flew away. Give me that town portal. I need it. Why didn't you hit him out his ear? Oh, and then we got... Were they always cave leapers? Were they sand leapers before? So, yeah, here we go. Upgrades. And, yeah, they, the small upgrades here are not that big. And upgrades of the, the, the normal enemies like that. Just, who cares? The, the ones that I'm scared of are these guys. The spear cats. Get over here and die. Apparently it doesn't matter what my chance to hit is if they run away from me or if they're moving slightly. Freaking get over here and die. What's that? Oh, it's a zombie head. That could be very good. But it's not. Like, Socket almost adds... Well, Socket adds very little to the value. It's not as good as you would think it would be. Because Socketing is really important. <laughs> like, having something that's Socketed can make it so much better. But for some reason, the, the merchants in town, they don't see it the same way. I don't care about the damn fire. Really? We're still here? Oh, and I found the waypoint. Uh, now let's keep going. I didn't pick anything up. Except a mana potion. Those sell for like 75 or something ridiculously low. So it's not even worth picking them up. Here, we finally reached the bottom. We're still looking for a dungeon in here. And unfortunately, there's no more roads for us to follow. No little shortcut to give me a hint at, as to where it is. So I just pretty much have to run all the way around, hope that I find it. Every time I see a little rocky thing, I'm, I'm thinking maybe here, but no, it's never that. Exploding potion and dirt. Thank you for landing. Just went right for me. They rarely do that. Maybe because I was standing still. Maybe that was the reason. Wait, is this... This is the way to the next place. No, we don't We don't want to do that yet. At least I have it identified on the map. I probably do need a few keys. Nothing in there but a trap. Die, jug. I hate jugs. <laughs> no, ma'am. I have... I, I doubt anybody's going to follow my train of logic there, but <laughs> it happened. Uh, nothing there. Alright, uh, I already opened that skeleton, or it wasn't openable. That's a word. An openable skeleton. Those exist, I swear. So, we need to keep looking for this, uh, I think it was Halls of Oasis we're looking for. 
And really, there's not going to be a hint as to where it is. I might go all the way around and still not find it because it's somewhere in the middle here. Please don't lift off. Please don't lift off. Just don't lift off and I'll be happy. You can do all the damage you want to me. Just don't lift off. Thank you. Also, thank you for dying. What is it? Resist fire! Screw the resist fire. Damn it. Now, I did mention a few times, I don't know, I, I feel like bringing up another random subject. I did mention a few times that I've gone to culinary school, and usually the first thing that people ask is either, why'd you stop? Which is the stupidest question if you've ever been to culinary school. Um, and, well, I, or, like, what l recipes did you learn? And To be honest, uh, in culinary school, they don't teach you recipes. They just say, you know, here's a chicken, roast it. You fucked it up. Well, they say it a lot meaner than I do, actually. Uh, but they don't curse a lot of the time. Hi. Uh, yes, uh, Al-Hazir can't equip a scythe, by the way. <laughs> really? Damn you. Just wanted to look at the hawk helm. Uh, they don't teach you, yeah, recipes. I think Arctic Blast one's a high one, so I'll keep it. That little thing right there, that's probably the, the, the dungeon that I'm looking for. Knowing my luck, I was like, oh, you're right there. Yes, it freaking is. It's the Halls of the Dead, not the Halls of the Oasis. Alright, let's go in there. I want that cube. That demands it. Uh, no, it's a regular mace. Uh, so... Oh, we f oh, skill shrine. Okay, I didn't even see you. Here we go. Hollow ones. Kill them. They're like uh, the shamans that we saw in the last act. They can resurrect all the skeletons. So always go for them first. Um, and then, well, in my case, usually use Blessed Hammer after I kill them. Oh, yeah, more decayed. These guys, of course, they die into a poison cloud. Uh, culinary school, I would also recommend to everybody, you know, learn how to cook just a little bit. You don't have to do it. Desert wings. Damn you, bats. Uh, you know, I, I know I'm giving, like, life advice here, but, and that, that's, this is not where you come for it. But, ooh, chip skull. That'll, get, that'll be very useful. Uh, you know, just a little bit. Like, maybe learn how to, I don't know. I want to say something and then have people go, of course, that's basic, and then, or at the other side, it's like, oh my god, that's ridiculously hard. Boiling water. If you guys could boil water, that'd be greatly appreciated by everybody. You know, just, uh, just some basics here and there. Cooking is not nearly as difficult as people make it out to be. It's a lot of math. It's a lot of science. Um, it's actually a very nerdy thing when you get into the heart of it, uh, while still maintaining, uh, very artful. I like cooking, but I don't like cooking professionally. <sighs> anyway, uh, one bit of advice I would give to, to somebody that's kind of a picky eater, um, th the best I advice I can give, when you're at a party, if it comes on a cracker, you don't want it. The cracker is to absorb strong flavors that are on the cracker. So what are you gonna find on crackers? You're going to find uh, well, pate, uh, roe, you know, fish eggs, caviar, roe, whatever. <laughs> Uni, which is sea urchin, that comes on a cracker sometimes. Pretty much, yeah, if it's on a cracker, you don't want it. But yeah, everybody always asks. I get so many questions about cooking, probably more than anything else. And to be honest, uh, my, my best advice to you, especially since you're watching me and you're, you, that means you're at least a little bit of a nerd. I hate to say it, to, I hate to break it to you, but you're watching, you're watching videos of, of a guy playing video games. So, you know, just deep down, just a little bit. Uh, I would recommend Alton Brown. Uh, you know, watch some good eats if you want to learn how to cook. Uh, that's that's you'll you'll learn more from him than you will from any culinary school from.
from from any other show. Uh, everybody else is just like, here's how I make this, and he's like, here's why it works. And that's why that's how you really learn how to how to get stuff done when you learn why and not just how to do it. Go, blessed hammer! Can you see it spinning? I don't know if you guys can see it spinning. Uh, Alton Brown is awesome. I highly recommend him. So yeah, that's it. I'm done for, with food stuff. Oh, super! 